I told you. He's on. Like a little shark. Come on, girl, get it. You got it? We got to get out of here. We're out here at the lake. Got the pole set out. I'm going to kick back in the car because it's freaking freezing. Just waiting to see if anything bites. And hopefully we'll have some lunch. We just got some action on our buddy pole. Hopefully it didn't steal the bait. It was a really good hit. Yeah, that's just a no, we got a fish. I told you. Look how pretty. How light colored. But yeah, I think this is going to be too little to keep. They got to be at least 15 inches. We'll measure this little guy and find out. He's definitely not. You can throw him back. Yeah. I told you there was a fish on it. Oh, he's like iridescent. Yeah, guys, this is not quite the size we uh, want right here. So we'll get another bait rigged up and get it back out there. I grabbed the pole and Rose like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> I knew there was You're a fish right. on it. And You're then she right. goes to reel it in and sure enough, there's You're a fish right. on it. What are you doing? Let it set. All right, guys, let's get this little guy back into the water. He's going to be too little to keep. We need him to be at least 15 inches. And he's, he's just about a little 12. baby. So pretty, though. It's probably the prettiest channel. Let's get him back. So far, one catfish. We were really hoping to come out here and slay him. If it wasn't so cold, I think we would probably be having a little bit better luck. But I would say that catfish was probably about 13 inches. We need it to be 15 or bigger in order to keep it. Those regulations are in place for a reason. Let them grow up a little bit so that they can serve their purpose and breed and all that good stuff before harvesting them. We're going to set it out a little bit longer. I'm sitting in the car watching these poles. Hopefully we get fish number two and hopefully it's a keeper fish we'll find out i know it looks like maddie's out there doing all the work <laughs> i promise i've been getting out in between of these little updates i'm a little under the weather today we've just been kind of sitting back taking it easy uh she had to touch the liver poor thing i swear i think i'm tripping we've been here too long i keep seeing fishing poles move all right, so we got a big storm moving in. So we're going to sit here maybe about 15 more minutes. Hopefully we can make something happen. If not, we got to get out of here before the storm hits us. And of course, we'll be back out. If not tomorrow, definitely within the next few days. We're going to have our catfish to take home and fillet and cook one way or another. I just don't know if it's going to be today. I'm serene. Hurry. <laughs> like really hurry. Yeah. It's like uh, starting to pour, so we're out of here. We got a fish on and we're gonna let my sister reel in. Keeper. So we're just gonna let this little guy go. There he goes. There he goes. He's going the right way. Here you got some free bait. Uh, that was nice of you. That was nice. You should gave him some free food. He'll come back and get it later. All right, you guys decided to meet up with my sister and help her catch her. She says it's not her first catfish, but it's her first. Got a party in the back. But so far, we are not catching anything eater size. But we're gonna keep trying to see what happens. Hopefully, we can get. Oh no, he's got a lot of poles. They look like a peacock coming through. About to get another one, guys. Getting some action. He's on. This one might be a keeper. No, another little one. They're like all little. That's okay. Tiniest little fish in the lake. Look how little. That's I almost beautiful. just want to coochie. So tiny. I guess let's let him go because he's definitely too little. We're going to go ahead and release this little baby. It's way too small to keep. What a cutie, though. Bye, buddy. Go figure it out. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. go. Oh, there we go. Like a little shark. I mean, you can catch catfish here, but it's not really anything of quality that you can actually take home and eat. So, yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah. 
I didn't hear what you said. What do you think about the catfishing here? I think it sucks. <laughs> it does. It kind of sucks. I'd rather be on the river, but the thing is, we know we can catch some good size ones on the river, but I would not want to eat the fish from our river, so. One's getting bit. It's on, it's on, it's on. This is, might be one of size that we can actually eat. Yeah, this is going to be one of size. Finally, we might have our eater fish, guys. I hope so. We're going to be hungry if not. Yeah, we're going to starve. Yeah. And it's fighting with one of size. They do, even the little ones. Yeah, this is very true. This is catfish here. I mean, it don't feel like oh, it's nice. eater size. Yeah, we got an eater size guy. Yay! We got supper, guys. This little guy's biting the fire out of me. Unfortunately, he's not going back in the water. He's going to be supper. Mm. In the <laughs> belly. All right, we're gonna get this back out there. Screwed. The downside. Some of it came this. off, but most of it stayed on. So it'll be okay. And we're already getting some more action. The bites are really heating up today. Yeah, that was number three. Yeah, that was number three. The that only keeper size though. So we'll see. The white one's getting big, guys. About to get another fish. Hey, yeah, uh, he's about to take it. He's on. All right, you guys, we might have another keeper size fish. Talk to me, what do you think? Uh, no, he's not a keeper. No, definitely not a keeper, but that's okay, guys. That is fish number, what is this, number four? Number four. Little guy, it's a lot of them around here. So we're gonna get him right back in, cutie. Thanks, buddy. So you wanna reel in the next one? Uh -huh. Okay. This could be my third video. It is gonna have a catfish in it. You're getting a bite on your catfish pole. Look, it's about to take it. Keep the rod tip up. Hold it up. There you go. Now reel it. You got this. Reel. It's a big old fish on there. You stink so. Oh, hold on, hold on. Good job. Good job. You did it, girl. You did it. Give me fist bump. Do it higher. Okay. Fist bump up here. We're holding your very first catfish. You did it, girl. He's going to go back. He didn't know which way to go. That's all right. Yep. Got it. Yep. That's the wrong way. Good job. Good job. It's the end. She's getting bit. We got um, carolers over here singing. So let's hope that uh, the fish like the sound of it and bite the hook. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we got one. Bigger little. Oh, I went eight. Gonna say a bigger one. This is a tiny baby. It feels like ice cream. This is cold water. It does feel freezing. No. You can't hold him. Remember, he'll poke you, but you can pat his head. Maybe the food that is still out here. We're doubled up. You can eat it. Why do we play music? <laughs> Free concert. That is gonna wrap it up. It is dark outside and the little place we were at, you need a night permit in order to fish there at night and we do not have that. So we went ahead and wrapped it up, but I'd say it was a success. We didn't catch a lot of eater size. In fact, we've only caught one eater size, but that's enough. It's just Maddie and I, but it was a good time reeling them in and getting to see my brother-in-law's little girl, McKinley, um, who was only five, by the way, catch her first catfish. So that brought a smile to her face, which brings a smile to my face. Here are our gorgeous fillets. Not perfect, but our fillet knife is a little bit dull. All in all, it's some nice meat we got off of this fish. But we're gonna get these guys seasoned up, breaded up, and fried up. So I'm gonna be soaking this, uh, these fillets in milk. It's supposed to help get rid of the fishy taste, and I also find that it helps the season stick pretty good to the fillets. I'm gonna let it soak for about at least 20 minutes. Then we're gonna season it up and get it in the frying pan. So we're gonna cut some heat on. And what we're gonna do is let this pan get good and hot 
and we're gonna put some butter in it and let the butter melt. That adds a good taste to the fish. We're gonna add a little bit of oil too. So now we're gonna get these fillets out of this milk. We're gonna just, I'm gonna drop that in there. Get it in there. We're just gonna get it all the milk off, like just shake it off oh. and get it in there. You can drink this. I'll be all right. <laughs> this stuff right here is what we're gonna be using instead of making our own little uh, flour mixture. We're just gonna use this. I still like to season my stuff even though this is seasoned already because I like extra season. You always gotta have garlic powder on everything. All right, so we're gonna have some garlic. Season all. Season salt. Same thing. Put some of that in there. We're gonna mix it all up, get it good and seasoned. A little bit of pepper too before I do this. We'll open this up. Just wanna sprinkle some of this in. Now I'm just gonna mix it all up and get these good and coated in this stuff. You see how that's sizzling right there? I just dropped some of the batter in, it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cooking. Drop these little nuggets in. And that right there is gonna be the chef's kiss. We got the catfish frying up, you guys, and we got some baked potatoes in the oven to go with it. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good supper when it's done. We're gonna set them on this plate with this paper towel so that the grease can be soaked up a little bit and they can cool. our finished product. Now it's time for the moment of truth. That's good. That's like really good. We're going back for more catfish. But anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go eat because I'm starving. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.